Well, the level of concern for some teachers is at an all time high as COVID-19 forces more and more students and teachers out of their classrooms. WVTM 13's Chip Scarborough spoke to some educators who say the solution starts at the top. No leadership from the state level. Tracy Binion with the Alabama Education Association says this latest COVID outbreak in schools could have been prevented. You have a lot of spread, especially amongst the younger grades who cannot get vaccinated. Um, in some instances, there was no mass mandate given. Before the start of school, the CDC and the Alabama Department of Public Health strongly recommended masks be required in the classroom. But the Alabama Education Association says local school districts should not be left to make difficult decisions like requiring masks in the classroom. The governor said we're open for business. So a lot of people took that to mean, you know, don't close your school doors regardless of what happens. Governor Kay Ivey's office tells me the governor believes all students need to be in the classroom to avoid any more learning loss. Ivy's office also says she's been clear about where our state is with COVID-19, adding, quote, decisions like this are best made between parents and local school officials working together. A one size fits all approach is simply not the answer. Clearly, we have seen that our local schools are more than capable of making the best decision for their communities. I know one teacher told me that out of her 27 students, she only has seven now coming to class. And so her job is having to teach the face-to-face -face class while at the same time provide packets for parents to pick up. And also looking after students capable of learning online. Chip Scarborough, WVTM 13.